we have this silty unit. It's called the State Circle Shale. Um, and this unit was deposited in a deep marine environment. Um, the people that first excavated this road cutting actually found some f fossils um, of this really interesting organism. Um, it's called a graptolite when they were doing their excavations and this type of organism only lives underwater. Um, so these sediments were deposited by turbidity currents that brought in this silt and deposited it here. Up here we have a more sandy unit. I can feel here that the grains in it are much coarser than down here. And interbedded within um, the sandy units, we've got a bit of fine grained shale as well, um, some more fine silty layers. Um, and this was deposited in a much more shallow setting compared to what's down here. But it was still underwater. And here, we actually have an unconformity. So what happened here was that um, this material was deposited first. It was buried by more material that um, it was buried by more sediments that came on top of it. Potentially some subsidence was going on as well while that was um, occurring. This would have been lithified, lifted above sea level and then eroded to create this wavy surface here, the unconformity. And this unconformity represents a gap in time because we have sediments that have been lost from the geological record here. So here this gap in time is on the order of a few million years. And then after that erosion took place, um, sea um, came back into this area, depositing this sand and these silty layers as well. So we're in this silty layer underneath the unconformity which is up there and here we can see that we have these big round globular shapes of sandstone that are inside the silt. So here we can see an exception to the rule that Brad told you about um, that when you find inclusions of some rocks within other rocks um, Brad was telling you that the inclusions are often older than the rocks that they're included in. But this is an exception in that the inclusions are actually the same age as, these inclusions of sandstone are actually the same age as the silt that they're sitting in because they both, um, so the sand fell into the silt um, while the sand was soft and hadn't been lithified. And the same with the silt, it hadn't been lithified at that time either. They were lithified together. Right. Now it's, it's kind of hard to see on camera but I assure you that in other places um, along this outcrop, um, in this sandy layer, you can actually see a fining up sequence. So you can see within beds of sandstone that at the base of the bed, the grains start out as um, coarse and they become finer and finer as you go up in a gradual manner. And so that indicates that um, that way is up. Um, and so I, I couldn't find any really good way up indicators in this unit down below, but it's really unlikely that this would have been completely overturned and this um, deposited on top of that. So it's pretty safe to assume that this way is up here as well. So we know that this is older than this. So we have a sequence of events here. We have a relative time scale. And so this is the relative time scale.